It's Lux of Flux, Boy Scout. wither the soul and freeze the blood. Millions exist here, walking streets that may swallow them whole or spit out their bones. When you've been locked away for the better part of 15 years, you've got no choice but to rely on those closest to you to watch out for your interests outside. In my absence, my son was given the keys to my kingdom, placing his trust in those who claimed my allegiance. As it turned out, it was a decision both of us would come to regret. And on the streets of New York City, regrets are measured in bullets. About, nigga? Your boy's fucked up, Calf. My pops is still alive. Your old man. You 
always go get played, nigga. <laughs> Lord, you don't deserve to live. Jesus Christ. I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, okay, I'll take care of it. You don't owe me nothing. Marcus, I helped raise you, and this is not how I expect to be repaid. Look, you can't keep doing this. You've had some scratches before, but this one, we're talking about one big fucking band-aid. It's the last time I'm saving your ass, so you better do exactly as I say, or you're on your own forever. All right, man. Now get the fuck out of here, kid. Merry Christmas. To the organized crime. Unit. You know, I remember when you couldn't even wipe your own ass without my help, Hotshot. So don't get cocky. You ain't a detective yet. Come on. You know I'm going to blaze through those qualification tests like that. Oh, you in that much of a hurry to get out of my unit? <laughs> Lieutenant Dixon, nah, I was just. Save it. I'm happy for you. You're going to make a hell of a detective. Well, hurry up and polish your badge or you're going to be late. this? <laughs> Gangsters dressed as cops, huh? It ain't Halloween, Terry. We talked about this, Victor. My contract, remember? God damn, Terry, you know I don't like greenhorns in my... Marcus has been on a beat for four years now. Just aced all the CIC stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's all yeah. Down. Remember, he's your responsibility. Comprende? You got it, Vic. This is it, kid. All you gotta do is pass, huh? Don't shoot yourself in the foot, huh? Son, this is this is the combat test. See those practice dummies? Let's start. All right, Greenhorn, move on to the next area. Just step on. All right. Now keep it moving. Next area. If you're surrounded, all right, Greenhorn, move on to the next area. Just step on to. Now show me some directional strikes. All right, Greenhorn, move on to the next area. Just step on to the caution. Sometimes it's best to hit them hard when they're down. Let's do, keep it moving. Next area. Let's get a move on. Scramble and climb. All right, Greenhorn, move on to the next area. Just not bad. Now let me see you grapple and throw. Time to move without being seen. I want you to sneak up on that guy. Hey, not so rough on your fellow officers. You trying to kill him? Ooh, it's back to some combat now. Get your guard up. Block! All right, Greenhorn. Move on to the next area. Just... All right. Let's see what you're made of before we finish in here. Put down these jokers and I'll get you some extra points.
nice result, son. That's what I like to see. <laughs> this is the run and gun course. You ready? All right, smart guy. Time to Ready to get flashy? Let's see if you can dive. All right, pick up the grenades. You're go Those grenades are live, son. You know what to do with them. <laughs> Just like back in Nam, I can almost smell the napalm. Sometimes shooting up the place isn't necessary. Now look around and find your target. Nice and easy. Now locate the non-lethal area and fire away. We call it neutralizing. Okay. Let's have a little fun before we wrap up here. Next area! Take these targets down! Shooting officer, you pass with flying fucking colors. Happy? Okay, so long you can show me you can drive. You just might get your. Okay, step on the gas and get rolling. Good. Now yank on that hand brake. Let's hear your siren, a best friend, right? Now pull out your pistol and shoot down some targets as you drive. Congratulations, officer. This completes your CIC qualifications test. Good luck to you out there. No, honey, the lockers at Grand Central. No, the new ones. Yeah, suits in there. Tie el traje. No te apure. All right, you know what? No bother. Okay, love you too. <laughs> Why don't you just move it to the city, Vic? Yeah, save yourself a train ride. And my salad. You're kidding, right? Looks like you still have both feet, kid. Was I fucking right about this guy or what? 
Denzel ain't got nothing on you, kid. Oh, for Christ's sakes, Terry, how hard is it to shoot a target? I want you to take him into the streets, see if he can handle himself in plain clothes and deal with real perks. Do the whole drill. Otherwise, no shield. Comprende? Okay, boy wonder. Time to kiss your costume goodbye. Grab your street gear. Then pick up an unmarked cruiser at the garage. I'll meet you outside. Yo, I got your boy wonder right here. Hello, detective. What can I do for you? Okay, detective. We'll bring it out. ¿No te gusta la comida de mi mujer? Para decirte la verdad, Manny. No, but we'll talk later. All right, kid, let's cruise. Talked to your father lately? Nah, man. I saw him a couple of weeks back. He wanted to see you. Yeah. Well, Pop can call me if he wants to. Besides, he ain't the one out here watching my back. Ah, oh, come on, Marcus. We're practically family, right? Right. All right, now let me see you drive, huh? Here, check your GPS. You think you can beat the clock? Then step on it. Yeah, time to be Earnhardt with this bitch. You want to get through traffic? How about using that siren, huh? Jesus, kid, what's wrong with you? All right, Boy Scout, you're making good time. Okay, you made it. Just pull up and get out of the car. Oh, come on, Terry. Don't make me jump through these hoops. Just go through the motions, kid. Keeps Navarro off our backs, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Keep your phone on. I'll run you through a few basics. Well, what the hell are you waiting for? All right, let's see your frisking hunches. Pick three males and pat them down for contraband. Police, hold it, man. Why you gotta encringe on my rights and shit? Police search, relax. Yeah, I'm on parole. I ain't trying to mess that up. Mm, sorry, my fault. You're free to go. Tu puta madre. Oh shit, please don't take me in. I could give you a card of money I take in. Good going. Next I want to see you inspect a car. Walk over to the parked car over there and pop its trunk for me, would you? Hey, looks like you found something. You know I heard some cops sell the stuff at the pawn shops. But you're gonna voucher it at the precinct, right? Whoa, look at these guys. We got a few hard cases. Well, you should already know there are different types of perps. There are the unarmed types. Shooting these guys is a definite no-no. Then there are the perps armed with a bat or a knife or something. Save your bullets unless absolutely necessary. Or my favorite, the jokers that are back in heat. It's open season on them. Whoa, what's going on? When the badge doesn't do the trick, you gotta... Look at that. Nice shooting. Now put some cuffs on those pricks before they run for it. You have the right to one phone call. You got the right to an attorney and some other shit I can't remember. Hey Marcus, are you paying attention? One of your callers is getting away. Come and do yourself a car and chase him down. New York Police!
wacky as shit. Look at this loser. He may be useful, but don't kill him, Hotshot. Ah, oh, shit, looks like we got a runner. All right, look, ditch your car, chase him down on foot. When you get close enough, you tackle his ass to the ground. Marcus, you just gonna let him run off? That's it, just slap the cuffs on him and you're done. Nice work, Marcus. You passed. A plus. Now, let's go see the king. That will be all, Kurt. You've been looking after my boy, Terry? I've been looking after myself, Pop. How you been, Isaiah? Just doing my time. To what do I owe the honor? Thought you might want to see this. Uh-huh. Seems my boy is no longer just a pawn. Congratulations, son. <laughs> Life's full of irony, isn't it? Higgins. Okay, I'll be there. Well, Isaiah, we gotta cut this short. I'll be seeing you. Kurt, let him out. Uh, you did good, Boy Scout. You know you're the first new face in OCU in seven years? Yeah. Seems like Navarro keeps that unit pretty tight. Ah, there's a reason for that. We'll talk about it. Some other time, though. Drive me to Mulberry and Spray. We got no time to lose. Shit, where's the fire, man? Come on, Marcus. This is important. Get your ass in the car. Man, I gotta hurry up. Briefcase? Sure, if you need to know. Nah, man, it's cool. If I'm not out in six minutes, you come in guns blazing. Alright, I got your back. Somebody talk to me. No, man. What the hell were you two doing? Hey, here, man, I don't know shit. Terry went inside. Get the fuck out of here. You feeling better? Mm, not really. I'm sorry, Marcus. Yeah. Me too. It wasn't your fault. Forensic says it was a gas leak. Bullshit. Look, I know that you and Terry were close, Marcus, but you need to let this go. It's Navarro's business now. He's not gonna let you touch it. <laughs> no more will see you, huh? Well, maybe one day, but for now, you're back here with me, working street crime. I'm not putting those blues back on. Relax, it's plain clothes duty. You get to keep your shield, as long as you play nice. Fuck that. I need to find out what really happened. Marcus, I'm trying to help you here. Crime has been on the rise all over the city, so please, do me a favor. Get out there and call me some perps, okay? Yes, ma'am.
Hey, there ain't no cop. I can't believe this shit. What do you think you're doing? Ow! No! What the fuck was that? Not without a fight, asshole! Sorry, I gotta inspect Why are you fucking with me, huh? I've seen enough, I'm out of here. Open your eyes, pal. Yo, what, what you got the there? What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, police! shit! Shit! Time to get out of here! Police officer! Uh, New York police! Hell? Do that again, and you will be brought down. Friendly fire, watch your shooting! Oh. Son of a bitch! I warned you! Try that again and I will respond! Oh, you have time to make it happen! Yo, get the fuck out the way! Right to remain, blah, 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 blah. Yo, police, police, I need Shit. this vehicle. Officer in need of a... Officer in need of a... Shoot somebody! Hey, you are making a mistake!
these motherfuckers a fool! Strunzo can on serve! I see it. What the hell? Hello, Detective. Gabriel Whiting, FBI. Feds. Why am I not surprised? Oh, Mr. Hotshot, perhaps I should just go home, kick off my shoes, have a nice cup of cocoa, because it sounds like you've got the case figured out. Would I be here if I did? Educate me. Indeed. For the past two years, I've been working with the OCU trying to take down New York's top crime syndicates. But things always go wrong. Stakeouts go cold. Covers get blown. <laughs> Sounds like you just suck at your job. I was on the job when the best part of you was running down your mother's leg, Detective, anyway. We figured there's gotta be a mole in the department. Detective Higgins was onto something. He had evidence was ready to name names. That's what he had in that briefcase, huh? So what the fuck happened? There's obviously a conspiracy at play, a setup. I believe you can help me find out who's behind it. Now how you figure that? Terry Higgins. He asked me to bring you in should anything go wrong. Look, I want to know the motherfuckers as much as anybody. I ain't even got a hunch. I mean, in case Terry didn't mention it, I'm pretty new here. That's why you're perfect, Detective Reed C. We don't know who's on the take. Anybody could be the bad guy, and that's the catch. You gotta do this alone outside of your official duties. No support, huh? You arrest anyone connected with this investigation, I'll make sure they do not pass go. Gather enough evidence on the mole, we will bury him. 
together in a deep, dark cell. Have we got a deal? Where do I start, man? We know that these four crime syndicates have been in contact with the mall. You shake them down, you will find Terry's killer. I've collected some details. Rather scanty, I'm afraid, but they should get you started. Yo, Gabriel. Man, I hate this cloak and dagger shit. The Magdalena Cartel is the city's prime coke syndicate. Even conservative estimates have these guys running 75% of the five boroughs flow. It's a shadowy organization, leadership unknown, but we're certain that the top dog lives in Manhattan so he can keep a close eye on distribution. Now, before Terry died, he said he made the acquaintance of one Teresa Castillo, known around town as Mother Teresa. I met the real Mother Teresa once on a mission in Cambodia. You'd never know it by looking at her, but a very funny woman, I should write a book. Anyway, this Teresa Castillo, she's a rich socialite, runs shelters all over the city. Terry believed she had information to help us crack the cartel. You can find her at the Wellness Clinic in Spanish Harlem. Ms. Castillo, I need a word with you about the Magdalena Cartel. I'm sorry, I am a busy woman. If you are a reporter looking for another... Detective Reed, New York Police. Oh, I see. Look, officer, I've grown weary of talking to the police. No matter how many times I complain about the dealers, nothing is ever done. You just write your reports and yes me away. Well, I ain't like that, lady. I come from the kinds of places you're trying to help. Is that so? Then why is that dealer still up there on the corner? Get him off my street. And I don't mean just shoo him away like your fellow officers. I mean permanently. All right. I think I can do that. But don't you go nowhere. I'll be right back. Hey, homie. Let me holler at you for a minute. Yeah. What you need, man? Same bag? 20 sack? Or ounce? Or what? For you to bounce the fuck out of here and don't look back. Right a cap, man? Fuck you! This is getting to be easy. That dealer? <laughs> he ain't coming back. You got my word on that. I have to say, you have a rare determination for a cop. You're going to need it. The cartel is an army. You mean the Magdalenas? Magdalenas, the Lords, the Curls. Many names, same source. 
a major crack processing facility right here in the city. So how do I find it? I've been funding the Smith projects in Alphabet City. I can tell you this. Three times a day, a motorcycle courier supplies the stoop dealers and collects their cash. Sounds like a runner where I'm from. A piece of advice. Grab yourself a motorbike or you'll lose him. He takes a route no police car could follow. All right, then.